the appreciation, I think, of where we, we came from really helps you to learn an awful lot about where you're going. You know, and we always say, if you don't know where you came from, you're probably not gonna know where you're gonna go. It gives you a great guide, and you can tend to, to learn both the good and the bad from history. You know, we, we might think about that in the world a little more. <laughs> my name's Peter Palmer, and my prostate cancer was treated at SVMC. When you, uh, when you get prostate cancer, it gets real up close and personal real fast. A lot of the folks I've talked to, their first question is, should I go to a big city hospital? And I tell them that my treatment at SVMC was absolutely the best. And dealing close to home is it takes an awful lot of stress out of the process. I guess that was one of the things that, that was so good about SVMC was that my life was absolutely, during the treatments, as normal as possible. My goal and my vision and my task is to maintain what the place already has. Because the place already has a wonderful staff, it already has a wonderful reputation. And my job is to enhance that and to expand that. And the beautiful thing about that is our affiliation with Dartmouth and our ability to now take what is already a wonderful place that has already provided outstanding care for years and now take it to uh, another level. I think one of the greatest assets of SVMC in our cancer program is the vision that we have, not just in affiliating with Dartmouth, but what is our treatment going to look like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and making those investments towards the treatments of the future. You know, the question is to whether you have a prostatectomy or whether you go with the uh, uh, radiation. Uh, at 65 years old is you know, just where I was when I got it. But I think when you weigh the, the whole thing, uh, I decided to go for the radiation and I was just thrilled that I did because uh, it worked out wonderfully for me. The complexity isn't in the delivery of the treatment. That's straightforward. Um, the complexity is in the patient's choices because those are numerous. It's the job, in this case, of the radiation oncologist, Dr. Vernon, and it's the job of the urologist who is involved in the patient's care to help the patient make the choice that's right for them. Not the choice that's right, because there is no such thing, but the choice that's right for them. A good urologist, and, and one of the things I like about our urologists here, uh, is that in addition to talking about the surgical treatment options, we'll refer to the radiation oncologist, in some cases the medical oncologists as well, so that the patient can sit down and hear all of the, the options in a more unbiased way up front before they're expected to make any decision. At the end of the day, I think that uh, having that uh, exposure to all the different sides of the, the team and the treatment paradigm allows patients to make a better decision. I was eager to uh you know, to speak about SVMC for the impact that that organization has had on my life and the opportunity that they gave me to continue to, you know, be productive and move on and, you know, have a good life. Prostate cancer and my experience at SVMC shaped my life considerably because, you know, you learn a greater appreciation for lots of things, for your life itself and for your time on Earth and the appreciation you have for those who made that possible.